it is that time for my response to a tweet. And today's tweet says, here we go. Hey, Phil, I'm feeling the inspiration thing. I almost 100% agree, but we need toughness right now. Hey, Phil, I am feeling the inspiration thing. I almost 100% agree, but we need toughness right now. Whew. This is a very, very good Good tweet. Very good tweet. And here's my response. I almost 100% agree with you. So let's split the baby. Let's get tough on inspiration. Let's get tough on inspiration and here's why. We're living in a time where it seems like we elevate to a very high position to our young people in the communities, our future. It seems that we elevate people that are doing things that is extremely negative in nature. Borderline criminal. Our young people walk around with these headphones in their ears and what are they listening to? Glorified criminal activity. They're hearing sex being glorified, robbing and killing being glorified, drug use being glorified, and, and then we have award shows, uh, Soul Train, I'm not Soul Train, but uh, the BET Awards, we, we're, our young people that are out here doing some tremendous damage to not only themselves, but to other people, other Americans, they are being motivated, inspired by a bunch of criminal activity that we elevate to a high level because of whatever they're accomplishing financially or whatever. Let me, let me put it like this. A criminal and a non-criminal are so similar because they both aspire. Don't forget now, every person that's a criminal, they aspire to reach a goal, financial goal. or and A lot of them don't even start out being criminal. They just have a goal that they want to reach financially, mentally, uh, emotionally, you know, sexually, whatever. They have a goal. But how you go about achieving that goal is what makes it a crime. If you want to infringe on somebody else's space, time, opportunity, things like that, in an illegal way, we call you a criminal. But you don't necessarily have to be doing something that's illegal by law, but it can still be criminal to someone else. Some people say it's not a crime until you get caught. But then here's the deal. The aspiration of this guy over here, if he wants to be a millionaire, and this guy over here wants to be a millionaire, if this guy goes about it with stealing and all those kind of things, that's what makes it a crime. But this guy wants to be a millionaire too. And he's going about it the right way, going to school, working hard, and things of this nature. But since we elevate to our young people, this person is doing this negative thing to achieve this wealth. What is happening is, he's getting his tough position, but the person that's inspirational gets belittled. We need to get tough on inspiration. Because inspiration is your number one crime fighter. If we can start elevating people that did it the right way, that sounds reasonable and rational as to still deal with complex issues, versus somebody who just sounds tough and they do all these kind of things, but they're really, really doing things that's detrimental to the growth of our young people, we need to be tough on inspiration. Do you understand? There is a gangster rapper out there. We take a person like a Harriet Tubman. She's seen a problem. And she handled this complex problem with freeing the slaves and underground railroads, creating codes, creating um, creative talking ways so that they can immobilize and she can get people free. This is inspiration 
that we should be sharing with our young people that feel enslaved and somebody can rise up and, and, and come out and, and do it in a way that is good, they end having that good result. But then we'll let this gangster rapper come and belittle Harriet Tubman. Call her bees and hoes or, or do something creative to diminish the inspiration that she can bring to our young people. And then we'll give that person a Grammy or a music award or something like that. And they're diminishing and, and belittling our inspirational characters that can get people doing things the correct way. And still have a major positive impact. So we make fun of the people that can inspire us to do things a cool way. And we elevate the people that's inspired, getting you inspired to do things the wrong way. And that wrong way is what's creating the crime in our nation. But then we elevate this criminal. Why? Because he builds a community center. Or he does something cool. But then the person over here that did it the right way, we call him lame. Because he doesn't talk tough enough. He doesn't do this. But then the one who does talk tough, he does these things. But, but then... How do we inspire our children not to be criminal? We just gave the key to the city to a gangster rapper because he built a community center. We gave the key to the city of a, of a drug dealer because he built a park. This, this actor is peddling smut, firearms, and guns, and killing, and robbing. And we elevate them to a high, admirable stat, admirable status. But then we allow these people to belittle the people like the Martin Luther Kings and the Harriet Tubmans and the, and the George Washington Carvers. And we diminish those people down. We let these negative people that achieved the same kind of goal belittle the people that achieved the same kind of goal through positivity. Can't you see that playing out when you look at our young people on TV? Martin Luther King and then when they protested, we're coming up on his birthday. When he protested, they had suits on. If they didn't have suits on, they were still dressed. They were dressed like respectable people. Now our young people are protesting with their draw showing and this and that. Why? Because, and they're tearing up their own communities. Martin Luther King wouldn't tear up their own communities. Why are young people tearing up communities? Because why? They've got earphones in with people that's tearing up their community creatively. And when it comes time for them to act out and protest, they're protesting for criminals. They're protesting for their right to keep con continuing doing criminal activities without no kind of repercussions or consequences. The pants is sagging. They're burning up their communities. Why? Because the people in their ear is burning up their communities. The people in there watching on TV is sagging. And they're belittling the Martin Luther Kings of the world. And so here we are, people. One of the most inspirational characters. Nobel Peace Prize winning young man. A black life that mattered. Trying to get the content of people's character to be the thing we're looking at. And the people that we're allowing to talk to our children constantly have horrible character, horrible content, deplorable situations, how they treat women, how they treat themselves, how they treat their community. And then you're going to expect for your community to do well when this is the person that gets to talk to your child, gets to talk to you all day long. And then we have inspirational people out there that we can look to right now. And then we allow other people to tear these people down. And we expect for things to get better. So no, we need to be tough on inspiration. Because if we get tough on inspiration, we'll be able to fight crime. Because there'll be less of it to fight. And until we do that, it's a crime. 
that's going to be very, very difficult for us to recover from. Just because a person can talk tough, that doesn't mean he's the best crime fighter. But what if a person can function inspirational? Then he can be able to talk other people off of crime in the first place. So yes, I agree with you. You agree with me. Let's split the baby. Let's get tough on inspiration. And let us not let anybody let the good that people do go under the foot of somebody trying to sh point out the bad. Because they want to win or because they, they just feel that they have to do that. We need to protect inspiration. And we need to get tough with it. Hey, I'm Phil Williams. That's my response to a tweet on the Phil Williams Show.